turns out that gluten sensitivity you have may be a figment of your imagination. Hey guys, Tara here for D News to talk about one of the most popular trends in the world right now, the gluten-free diet. Now you've probably seen this video that went viral a few weeks ago. It features late night talk show host Jimmy Kimmel asking a bunch of self-described gluten-free people on the street what gluten actually is, and no one seems to know the answer. Part, I believe, of the wheat that uh, I really don't know. It's, <laughs> it's a funny video, but it also highlights the ignorance surrounding the whole gluten-free trend. Now, before we get into this, it should be noted that celiac disease, which is an autoimmune disorder triggered by the consumption of gluten, is very much real. No one is trying to deny that. Science has unequivocally proven it. But the problem arises when people who don't have celiac disease attribute their problems to gluten, which is happening more and more, and especially so here in America. The gluten-free trend has been around for a while, but it exploded in 2011 when a professor at the Alfred Hospital in Melbourne, Australia, published a study linking gluten to gastrointestinal distress in patients without celiac disease. Well, now three years later, the same professor has stepped out again with an even more rigorous study that appears to debunk his original findings. In the second study, they looked at 37 patients with self-reported gluten sensitivities, but who were confirmed to not have celiac disease. They provided patients with every single meal for the duration of the trial so they could be sure to eliminate any and and all potential dietary triggers. First, they fed them a baseline diet that was low in FODMAPs, which are short chain carbohydrates that are poorly absorbed in the lower intestine. They then separated the patients into three groups, some with high gluten diets, some with low gluten diets, and some with gluten-free diets. None of the patients knew which diet they were eating, yet somehow all of them reported a worsening of gastrointestinal symptoms over the course of the trial. So they repeated the study. And this time they had patients on either a high gluten diet, a gluten-free diet, or the baseline diet, which was the one that was low in FODMAPs. And still, almost all of the patients continued to report an increase in symptoms. This means that gluten couldn't possibly be the culprit here, leading researchers to believe that the real cause is psychological. Patients expected the diets to make them sick, so they did. Interestingly, almost all of the subjects reported an improvement in symptoms when they were fed the low FODMAP diet, making that a much more likely cause of distress than gluten. It just so happens that FODMAPs occur mostly in bread products, which would explain why people who eliminate gluten from their diets, and thus bread, might see a reduction in symptoms. Either way, the study effectively negates the existence of non-celiac gluten sensitivity, and it also reminds us that the gluten-free trend that's become so popular over the past few years has primarily been driven by consumer and commercial interests and not actual scientific research. What do you guys think? Is the gluten-free trend dumb? It's kind of hard to argue with evidence like this, but I still want to hear your opinions, so leave them in the comments below. And as always, thank you guys for watching.